Hello dear friends, today's discussion is first law of thermodynamics. So friends, thermodynamics, this is the very very important topic of the chemistry and both physics. Okay. So, what is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics, there is two laws. One is first law and another is second law. And physical and chemical changes are normally accompanied by energy changes. These energy changes take place because of the rearrangement of atoms in reactants to form products. Sometimes the energy changes associated with the chemical reactions are more significant than the product of the reactions. Okay, such as burning fuel and coal, common form, coal uh, or natural gas. This process satisfies our energy needs. The most common form, form in which the energy appears is heat. Okay, the transformation of heat into work is achieved with the help of devices called engines. The branch of of science which deals with the study of different forms of engine and forms of energy and their interconversion is called thermodynamics. So transformation of heat into work is achieved with the help of devices called engine. And what is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the, the branch of science which deals with the study of different forms of energy and their interconversion is called thermodynamics. So friends, you have to learn some basic concept. One is system and surrounding system. A significant part of the universe which is under observation is called system. Surroundings, the remains portion of the universe which is not part of the system is called the surrounding. Okay. Another is open system, closed system, isolated systems. Okay. I will discuss more details in my videos, next videos. When what is closed, open system, closed system, open systems, everything. Okay. Uh, I now I just solve only problems and I just discuss only problems and some mathematical mathematical problem and little bit idea of the thermodynamics. So system. So which portion you have to know? You have to know open system, closed system, isolated system, and the surroundings. System and surroundings. Are, are basic terms and concepts. These two terms is basic terms and concept. Okay. So now we 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 you need to need we need to know enthalpy. Enthalpy and enthalpy change. The change in internal energy gives the heat change accompanying a chemical reaction at constant volume constant volume del v is equal to qv okay to study the heat changes for reaction at constant pressure and at constant temperature a new term is called enthalpy okay so enthalpy is very very important to know Okay, let's start. The total energy of the universe remains constant in the first law of thermodynamics. And second is the energy of the system that is isolated from its surrounding is constant. Okay, and change in internal energy heat add to the system plus minus work done on the system. And energy change at constant P equals to energy change at constant V plus also in here it is plus okay plus change in the number of gases moles cross rt and in equation terms del h equals to del u plus del ng 
RT. Okay, so friends, must remember enthalpy change is is a measure of heat change taking place during a process at constant pressure. Okay, when constant pressure, another is constant volume Cp and Cv. Okay, you know this fact that Cp is the constant pressure and Cv is the constant volume. So heat and in evolved or absorbed in a reaction at constant temperature and constant constant pressure that is called del h okay del u del u means in here del u means internal energy del ng is equal to r del ng is equal to change in the number of gases moles okay number of gases moles now we solve one problem thermodynamics problem that the heat of the of combustion combustion okay combustion of gases methane ch4 at constant volume is measured in bohm calorimeter okay measured in bohm calorimeter at 298k and found to be 808 minus 885.4 k joule per mole find the value of enthalpy change so now solution combustions of methane gas co2 and h2 h2 co2 is gas and h2 is l as ch4 plus 2a2o2 plus co2 gas plus 2h2o so del u is equal to 885.4 kilojoule per mole so it is the 800 and del ng del ng is number of gases number of gases is in here one and you see that this is the both are gas so one mole plus one mole okay one plus two okay Okay, change in the number of gases moles. So one mole, this is one mole, this is one plus two, three mole is also, so minus two mole. So T is equal to 298 K and daily is equal to 92.38 kilojoule. So it can be written and R is this, and we know daily is equal to del U plus del NG RT. Okay, this is the formula I used, and I I am putting the value del NG is equal to two minus 2 mole r equal to 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin and 298 del h equal to 92.38 so i get del is equal to minus 87 425 kilo joule thanks for watching